Hello everyone. Welcome back to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan. Well, this video has a sponsor. This video is sponsored by Pixel Village Creator Academy. After creating India's most loved photography YouTube channel and most popular online photography education portal, we now bring to you Pixel Village Creator Academy. A place where you can learn photography, filmmaking, editing and uh, digital content creation in a well-appointed 10,000 square feet of physical space. We have government accredited diplomas and certifications and also have many short-term upskilling courses too. So if you are looking for that perfect place to learn and master your dream profession, then look no further. Use the link in the description, fill the interest form and we shall get back to you. Now to today's video. Well, when we started our uh, Pixel Village YouTube channel way back in 2017, uh, thanks to my photography filmmaking backdrop, we kind of knew how to capture good quality images and uh, videos. In fact, from 2014 onwards, we've been using uh, DSLRs and uh, small, uh, you know, digital filmmaking devices uh, for our own content creation. Uh, even at that time, I, I knew, I mean, I was certain that it was not really the video, it actually is the audio that's probably more important than the video itself so instead of i mean though we even we were in kind of uh, you know tightly strapped for money we went and spend top dollars to buy that best quality audio product that is available to capture the audio so we went and bought this uh, filmmaker kit from uh, uh, Rode. Even after four and a half years, it's still working perfectly well, except that the cable uh, has started, you know, creating some kind of a, occasionally started creating a noise here. So it's time for me to replace this, uh, uh, the, the lapel mic. But other than that, we really love. Even our audience took notice of that and they've, they've been commenting uh, about the audio quality and they've been asking about the audio device that we've been using. So it was the um, filmmaker kit from Rode Mic. Well, of course, now we have the Mic Go 2. Uh, that's, that's another uh, you know, set of microphones that we use, but we still love the quality this guy produces. Anyway, now uh, capturing good audio is one, but the most important thing is also to process it, uh, handle it in post, monitor it either through speakers or via headphones. Uh, somewhere along the way, we managed a near field monitor, but that's only for one person. What about the remaining uh, editors in the, uh, you know, the editing studio? So most of them were in the early days were using regular headphones. Then we kind of uh, upgraded ourselves to affordable over the year headphones. Um, but still, I knew that, you know, we still are not there and we needed a better, uh, you know, headphones to monitor our uh, audio. And yes, thanks to our friends in Road Mic India, well, we got this beauty very recently. And I can't explain to you how delighted I am. Uh, you know, once we started using it, I think now, I mean, I have only one in the studio. We have four editors and they are like, they use the regular ones during the edits, but for that final mix, they insist on this. And then, then there's a small tussle happening. I have seen that, a small tussle happening in the studio to use this NTH 100. Now, I'll try to explain my experience with the NTH 100 in a layman's language. Like I said, we are not audio experts. So my explanation will be probably something that, you know, people like me who are looking for that good quality affordable headphones will appreciate. I, along with this, I want to show you a set of other stuff that we received recently because uh, we have the YouTube, of course, but we have now an online photography education portal. We now launched the Creator Academy, which is an offline proper, uh, you know, education institute. And I thought it's only appropriate that I now start talking to uh, 
the world on a regular basis and uh, i've been toying with this idea of starting a video podcast for a very long time and as luck would have it well a divine luck uh, it is that the road people again extended their help and now we have some probably not probably it is the finest video podcast equipments so we got the dynamic pod mic right then we got the brand new recently launched i don't know if this fits in the frame here in my video screen the Rodecaster Pro 2 and yes yes this is another one which is extremely uh, important and it's a vital part of uh, the podcast setup so we got the PSA 1 plus so this is this is one dream kit okay and we also received the cables I'm going to put it together and I'm, I want to kind of give you an experience with all that voila <laughs> well, it is, I don't know, somehow it is beginning to make me feel like a professional, uh, you know, podcaster already. It's, it's brilliant. I mean, you know, the tactile feel, the, the way it is made is all really, really amazing. Like I told you, it can actually instantly make you feel like you are uh, some dude uh, podcaster. Anyway, so this is the dynamic podcast mic. This is the PSA 1 Plus, the uh, Rodecaster Pro 2, and of course, the NTH100. Now, among these three, I am most familiar with this, and I've been using it for quite some time. These are new, but kind of I have an idea as to how it works, and so I'm going to find out along with you. Now, like I said, it is, it is purpose-built for podcasts uh, but yes you can also use it for a compact music production but uh, if you are a little more innovative it can be also put used to a whole lot of other things as well but first we will talk about podcast so what I'm doing is currently I'm using this uh, label mic to record right so when I start uh, recording here uh, then I'll switch and you will instantly see the difference okay first Let's talk about the input, which is the microphone. Um, I'm sure you've seen this microphones in you know various videos, but let me tell you, this is really some serious machine. I mean, it's built. It's got a build to lock. It's almost like a uh, you know pattern tank feel to it, a, an indestructible kind of a feel to it. The PSA One Plus is an upgrade to the PSA One. Um, there are lots of uh, benefits to it. Uh, we're not going in deep into that, but of course, you're seeing only a portion of the arm, but you know, it is properly anchored using a clamp. And of course, the cable runs through and it's, it's very nicely clips uh, very well. And of course, they have not missed an opportunity to brand it well in big, bold letters. When it comes to digital content creators like us, uh, we are actually experts in the content, not exactly an expert in that sense of the term when it comes to technology. Like for example, we are very good with video, not as good with the audio, but we kind of somehow manage to kind of, uh, because we spend some extra time, we try to get good quality audio. Now, sound is probably more complex than video. I mean, as I see it, sound, Mine. I mean, if you if you take the sound of the best Hollywood movie, I don't think you will watch it for more than five minutes, right? So it's as important as that. But what Rode, like I said, what Rode have done through, you know, this this clever uh, management is that you plug it, make sure that some basic settings are done, and you're going to sound like God immediately. That's 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 a guarantee that they've given. So. You don't require a pop filter here. Uh, it's, this, this thing is isolated very well. Uh, the, the, the pickup is suspended inside. So you don't have to really worry about, of course it will, you know, sound will travel from the base through the arm here, but 
it's all to a great extent insulated. Now, of course, the cable travels uh, through. It is nicely clipped onto the arm and off travels all the way and it comes in to the uh, Rodecaster Pro. The Rodecaster Pro can take four uh, mic inputs and you can also monitor four uh, using four different uh, headphones and also you can monitor using an external monitor like a physical near field speaker if you want to have you know that as your output and the input volume can be controlled through these faders and the headphone volume can be controlled using these knobs as well well very simple straightforward layout and very well again you know built to last feel to it um, the power switches at the back the red button is the power switch it is powered through a USB cable. You have the LAN connectivity and Wi-Fi connectivity to upgrade your firmware. Uh, you have two external USB 3 inputs and also a Bluetooth connectivity. So uh, I'll tell you all why all those connections are used for. And on the front panel, you have these faders, very well made uh, ones. And uh, of course, let me switch it on. That's the best way. So press it once let it go and it switches it on and it takes like what few seconds to kind of come back on and that's it it's come on and it will show you all the you know the dials and uh, and this is uh, powered by the so it's called phantom power right so it's powered through uh, for the roadcaster pro 2 and the it's it's already ready to be used then of course you use your nth 100 to kind of monitor these this cable can be attached to either side depending on you know which is convenient to avoid any kind of entangling uh, of the cable so now i have attached to the left you can also attach to the right so that's something which this offers and also the monitoring frequency is amazing five hertz to 35,000 Hertz. Now that is more than what a human being can hear. Uh, so 20 to 20,000 Hertz is what a human being can hear, but this guy can reproduce five to 35,000. That's amazing. Um, it's not of too much of use to me because the other day while I was checking a speaker and uh, I was trying to play some uh, sample audio, I couldn't really hear uh, anything about I think about 18,000 Hertz and I couldn't hear um, at about, I think at about uh, 35 Hertz, I think I lost uh, the bass as well. So maybe it's the age, maybe it's the excessive use of mobile phones, pollution, things like that has caused it. But yeah, so it happens. It's not just me. It is, it's, it happens to uh, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to wear this. It's a nice over the ear. Uh, headphone so I have now of course you can hear me but uh, I seems to have cut out a lot of ambient noise here now let me tell you our studio is not in a best of places um, we have a multiplex four cinema screens below us right below us uh, and a, a functional gym right above us and any audio engineer will instantly tell you that, please, this is not the place where you can produce an audio from. And that's exactly the place where Rod comes in and says that, look, my friend, don't worry, we will still help you create good quality audio. So we've kind of tried a bit of it and I'll show you exactly how. And another interesting thing which the Rodcaster Pro 2 can do is to record internally it will also allow you to record onto an external computer or an external hard disk uh, it's possible but it can record onto a micro sd card which is in here i have already used one here and one tap and it started recording now it has actually started recording so here it is it this is this red signal means i have started recording i need to i've connected to channel one every channel has a color indicator and uh, a private chat mode and also a cutoff mode. Uh, if you are in a remote location, of course, you, the caller can call in using a, you know, a mobile phone. So you can connect the Roadcaster Pro to the mobile phone using the 
the Bluetooth link and uh, you can connect. So in such cases, wherever you need privacy, you can actually chat individually to one person uh, and it doesn't get recorded and also switch off uh, the microphone using this uh, red button, which is like a mute button. All right. On the right are the programmable uh, pads. And of course, like I told you, uh, the top is the headphone level control and these are the faders. Let's, uh, and of course, this is a touchpad here, which is a programmable. Uh, this is the area where you program things. Okay. So what I'm going to do is to increase my uh, mic input level and I'm going to increase the microphone level. So now I can hear myself. What I have to do now is to go and make my mic input controls. So I touch level one and I go into the mic control. The system has already recognized that I have connected a pod mic and it has picked it up already. Now this device has an amazingly capable uh, preamp called the revolution preamp in it. Uh, preamps are, you know, anyone who knows uh, audio will vouch for the preamps quality. Uh, and in fact, preamp actually feeds the power amp, right? I mean, if you are in a kind of a place where you're listening to um, uh, audio reproduction, then the power amp is fed by the preamp. In this case, the recording device is fed through the preamp. So the preamp level is extremely important. That's a place where um, a lot of uh, uh, unwanted impurities kind of uh, gets in, like the hiss and the uh, distortions and all happen. Now, this is very, very nicely controlled, both for audio and as well as for instruments. It's controlled very well using it. And the input gain can be controlled using this device. So, um, so I can show, if I increase now, I'm going to 59, 60, and you can already feel uh, every bit of what I'm saying, and probably it's also picking up a lot of room noise. Now, what I am going to do is to use the gain control to cut it down to a good level, for which you have to make sure that your headphones is kept at a mid level, otherwise you will not judge properly, okay? So let me bring it down. You can still hear external noise. I am at 44 now. Suddenly, the recording has become very silent, right? So now I have what I have to do is to maintain my distance here to speak into the microphone. That's why, all, I, I mean, I always used to wonder why all the podcasters used to use headphones and, you know, used to sit very close to the microphone and kind of almost breathe into the microphone. And I used to wonder why can't they do it with a label mic? Now I realize that you, the, the entire emotion, because usually podcasts are very intimate, very close, right? I mean, there's a lot of emotions, a lot, lot of expressions happen. That needs to be conveyed to the listener. Um, if you are using um, a, a lapel microphone, that don't really happen. But it'll happen here if you speak because you can't hide anything uh, in this case, okay? So I think uh, 45 decibels, um, it's a good, good level. And on the right side, it has a set of processing capability. So it has a set of presets. So you can have a neutral response to the audio. So this is neutral. It's presets, right? And podcast studio. Now I'm in podcast studio. And the next one is called the broadcast. This is the broadcast. This one is the podcast. And this is the neutral setting. So these are the three presets available. Now, let me come to this microphone because I can actually hear the rejection. So if I'm speaking like this, this probably is the ideal situation. Okay. But the moment I go like this, you will not really hear my voice optimally. There, are, there will be some amount of rejection because that's, that's not exactly how the diaphragm, the receiving diaphragm is placed in suspended inside. So this is the optimum. And I, as I go around, my voice keep 
or if i if i move away from the microphone i said it's kept like this but if i keep my face like this of course again there is a little bit of rejection so you need to position the microphone uh, in the best possible way and you can hear it that's the most important thing all right now in case if you want to further fine tune this uh, preset this particular preset has depth sparkle and punch set to the maximum but i can modify it if i want by clicking each one and using this dial to fine tune for example if i reduce the depth now you will suddenly see a lack of depth in my voice so and if i keep adding it it's very simple and they've used very very simple language here so now you have full depth uh besides this i can also add effects to it like the room echo and reverb so echo i can attach uh i pick echo hello 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 if you want to mimic a large size room reverb i can actually do that here this is a large size room reverb this is the extra large size room reverb this is a double xl large hall so i'm i'm not really interested in creating any reverb here uh maybe yeah just keep it at medium room and then of course you can go even to an advanced level so the advanced level will give you a whole host of corrections which actually requires a little bit of understanding of sound and sound engineering uh but uh, what i am going to do is to kind of show you so this is called the high pass filter you can you can correct your high pass filter i'm not going to do that um then you have your d is then you have your noise gate because all the noise which is really disturbing at the high end basically the hiss can be filtered out right here uh, in in premiere pro and stuff we used to use filters right software filters these are hardware filter so you can actually use it to correct that and and of course then you have uh the equalizer so let me add a little bit of uh, low grunt to my voice okay i'm going to add some and uh, now suddenly okay uh, so what i have done somewhere in the middle of course i forgot to mention that i have switched to from this to this so what you're hearing now is the audio from the uh, lapel mic and uh, what you're hearing now is from the pod mic the dynamic podcasting microphone from road with some basic uh, processing so that's something which uh, you know let me add a little more uh, you can really go to town with all the processing then comes uh, your smart pads now the advantage of the smart pad is that you can load a whole lot of standard audio that is required for example an intro or an outro or an announcement or claps i mean it actually has built in effects now each effect you must remember of course is kind of coded by a color you can of course re you change your color so you don't have to really remember what is where you just remember the color and it's easy right so what i'm going to play for you now is some effects which are already recorded in it of course you can change them but uh, uh now they have uh, music bed um air horn uh record scratch chimes um you know trombone crickets applause and all that uh so of course there is a fader attached to the smart pad so you need to increase the volume of the otherwise it won't come through so let me show you what applause is <laughs> another tap and it uh, it it stays in any recording will have a certain duration right so you can actually program it in such a way as the audio recording either play back in full or go back every time you tap it goes back the beginning and plays back again or just stop so it's possible to program it let me show you what uh, an air horn is that's an air horn uh, then you have some chimes Very nice and some crickets brilliant and what is music bed ah. 
<laughs> so, so let me try and do that. Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan. You know, something like that. Go to town, have fun with this. You can also have some really interesting um, voice effects. For example, this one, I really, really enjoyed it. So, listen to this. Hello everyone. Welcome to Pixel Village. So from the monster sound, switch to this one. Yes, master. I hear you. Welcome to Pixel Village. Yes, I also welcome you to Pixel Village. <laughs> And uh, if you want to, you know, voice disguise another one. So voice disguise means... Uh, uh, I can speak like somebody else and you will not be able to figure out who I am. Hello, hello. Um, pitch up. I can pitch up. I can uh, speak in, in a high pitch. So. My voice is like this. And now there is a megaphone. Megaphone is, you know what a megaphone is. Megaphone kind of makes you sound like you are speaking through or shouting through a megaphone. And uh, during which, if you want to kind of censor something. So, speak like this and censor. So, let me switch off the megaphone. Yeah, I'm back. And then, of course, there are lots of programmable uh, pads as well. So, you have three, four, five, six, seven. So, there are tons of programmable options, which means you can record a whole lot of stuff. I mean, why? An entire show itself, it's got uh, internal recording, it's got, I mean, there is memory inside, so it, it will get recorded, in, not onto the SD card, into the internal memory, so you can actually record a whole lot of stuff and probably just play it back from here, just hit play and it just keeps playing. And uh, this is basically what uh, this machine does and let me go back and uh, here I am back again. And, you know, a small version or digital version of this physical keypad is also here. And in case if you want to edit all any of these, of course, you go here and you can edit them. You can change the color of the pad. You can change the name of the pad. You can edit uh, the, the, the feature which is given. There's a whole lot of things. You can even clear, completely wipe out the effect. So all these are possible. So it's a highly, highly customizable. And suppose if you have a caller in, I mean, somebody is calling through a mobile phone, you can pair the receiving phone using the Bluetooth, okay, pair it, and also control the gain, also add all the processing effects, and they will also, to a great extent, start sounding like one who was in the room. Um, otherwise, you will start sounding you know, very professional and the other person will sound very, you know, obviously uh, the audio through a mobile phone need not be, or definitely will not be as good as this, but you can still process and get into a great shape. Okay, so I'm back, back home and this is what it is. And um, of course, I'm currently recording. So um, what do I have to now talk about? This is almost like a dream come true for us. I could not have asked for anything more. I am more than excited to start our podcast uh, sessions very, very soon. Um, and I'm, we're going to have uh, some really, really amazing guests. Uh, we're not going to be talking only photography. We're going to be talking about a lot of things. I want to talk about health. I want to talk about wealth. I want to talk about communication. Um, I want to talk about language skills, which all photographers, creatives, these days need. So look forward to that. And of course, do not forget to, to uh, subscribe to Pixel Village, our YouTube channel, and also uh, check out our new venture, Pixel Village Creator Academy. And uh, of course, thanks to the folks in uh, uh, Road for sending this. And we're going to thoroughly enjoy it. And we're going to mention this at every possible given um, occasion. Oh, yeah. Road also has given us this 
fantastic cover you know in case if if you want to leave it like this on the table you know because if you're recording every day this is the best way to leave it otherwise you know dust settle in through all the crevices and stuff so this is a nice cover uh, which they have provided uh, yeah so that's another interesting thing that i forgot to mention bye for now <laughs>